Howdy, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments Podcast, where I give you my real life stories and their healing translations. So let's just get straight into it. (laughs) I was thinking earlier, well, when I say earlier, just moments ago, and um, what Spirit brought back into mind was how I kind of started out giving um, my visions to people, where I, because I've I still have um, visions every single night. When I go to sleep, I don't necessarily sleep. I travel, right? And in my travels, I often see people that I know. So when I see these people, I've given them the messages that I receive for them. And and I'd say about 90% have given good reception, right? However, there was those 10% that would just never say anything or, you know, kind of have the blank responses or just really not know how to respond. And so I would get in my head about it, get in my head about it, and, you know, just waiting for that validation, right? And it never came. And then over time, I, I just didn't hear really anything from anyone. And I would just, again, get in my head about it. Maybe I'm off, you know, off course. Maybe I'm not saying the right things. Maybe this is all BS, you know, all of the the maybes, right? And I stepped heavily into that whole imposter syndrome that you may or may not have heard about. So (laughs) the reason I mentioned that is because what that did, that actually forced me to stop popping up in people's inboxes, right? Unannounced. With my disclaimer, okay, you know, take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't, and um, hopefully I'm not bothering you. If you have any questions, let me know. Basically, it was a please see me, right? Please see me, please hear me, please let me know I'm not crazy because I'm just delivering these random messages. And where does it come from? How do I know this information? Why am I seeing you when I go to sleep, right? And, And that validation never came. So... Fast forward to to maybe a, a year into that. Then I just started to record videos. I felt completely uncomfortable. My videos used to be consistent of solely me participating in my dance classes. Yes, I still do belly dance. Yes, I still do hula dance classes. Not hula hoop, but hula dancing, right? And um, so it was it was awkward for me to be speaking in front of the camera like, who do I think I am, right? Why would anybody even listen to me? What do I have to share? And of course, I had these divine downloads that I wanted to share, but I just still in my head, still worried about it. So I kind of stopped. And then I started again, and then I stopped, and then I started again. And now it's full force. I can't really recall the moment where I started to just record something every single day or make this a c- consistent because it just kind of happened organically. But however, the reason why Spirit had me look at that and and recall those times is because what Spirit is telling me is that they had to move me from where I fell on deaf ears or blind eyes, where I had to go to a greater space in order to be received and in order to reach more people. Because had it been up to a few of the uh, people that I delivered messages to, then they would have me as their private reader. And so things had to transpire in order for me to be essentially snatched out of that position and put where I am today. And was it comfortable? Absolutely not. Nothing that I have done has been comfortable in the least, but I do it anyway, because that's who I am. That's how the universe made me, right? So I don't even know what it is to give up. I've tried a couple of times, but it doesn't work. So I might as well just keep going, right? And so the bottom line behind this is don't give up. And understand and know that just because something doesn't seem to be working out right now, that doesn't mean that it won't work in the long run. And also, just because something that you're attempting doesn't seem to be landing, and it seems like you have to keep shifting and 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 almost like shape-shifting, 
right? That doesn't mean that you're a failure. That means that you're being positioned in the correct place and put in alignment with where you're actually meant to go. And the thing of it is, is that we have to be willing to get out of our own way. Because if I would have stayed stubborn in those moments and refused to branch out and refused to step outside of my comfort zone, then I'd still be cautiously recording one or two videos. Now, am I am I where I wish to be? Am I where I see myself is going? Am I reaching as many people as I, I my heart calls to? No, but we have to start somewhere. And if we have the expectation of jumping in the pool and reaching 10 million people out the gate, then we might as well hang up our hats now because any time that we try anything and we don't reach those 10 million, then we're going to be so defeated and deflated that we're not going to want to get up again. So just keep going. It's a step-by-step process. You have to start somewhere. And even if you're uncomfortable, try it. What is the worst that can happen? Even if you fail, it gives you, it, it, it essentially marks something off the checklist and gives you an opportunity to try something new. So bottom line is keep going. What you're doing today will not be the same thing that you're doing a year from now or even 10 years from now. But if you don't take that first step, you're never going to get anywhere. And that's it. So if this message resonates, then that means it's for you. And if not, that's cool too. Just keep it pushing. Either way, I thank you for listening and I wish you the very best day ever. Until next time, you know the vibes. Peace. And by the way... Don't forget to check me out on all of social media. I'm basically everywhere across <laughs> any type of social media platform. But just remember, when you look me up, it's Marissa with one S, not two, because there's only one me. And if spirit moves you, if you feel so compelled to contribute to the awakening efforts, then feel free to send a donation. Anything and everything is appreciated with great love and gratitude. All information will be listed in the description. Thank you, and until next time, happy healing.